Hello, and welcome to TI Precision Labs. In this series, we are going to discuss key features of the High Definition Multimedia Interface 2.1, also known as HDMI 2.1. HDMI is a popular video interface that can carry both video and digital audio from a video source to a sync device such as HDTV or monitor. Before we start this presentation, if you are new or unfamiliar with HDMI, please be sure to check out our other videos for more information on the previous versions of HDMI. The first key feature of HDMI 2.1 is improvement in bandwidth by 30 gigabits per second. HDMI 2.0 provides 18 gigabits per second bandwidth, whereas HDMI 2.1 provides 48 gigabits per second bandwidth. The increase in bandwidth allows HDMI 2.1 to deliver uncompressed 8K video at 60 Hz with 12-bit color. Another feature that takes advantage of the increased bandwidth provided by HDMI 2.1 is Enhanced Audio Return Channel, or EARC. The HDMI standard has provided users with an audio return channel in earlier HDMI versions. However, the enhancement of audio return channel provides the ability to transfer uncompressed audio 5.1 and 7.1. Additionally, eARC can transfer a high bit rate audio up to 192 kHz in 24 bit resolution. HDMI 2.1 introduces a new electrical mode known as Fixed Rate Link, or FRL. These FRL data lanes replace the Transition Minimized Differential Signaling Channels, or the TMDS channels, which carried video, audio, and auxiliary data. Please note, with FRL, while the existing TMDS data lanes 0 through 2 are redefined as FRL data lanes 0 through 2. The TMDS clock lane is actually redefined as FRL data lane 3. HDMI 2.1 supports fixed rate link rates and lane controls as follows. 3 gigabits per second on 3 lanes, 6 gigabits per second on 3 or 4 lanes, 8 gigabits per second on 4 lanes, 10 gigabits per second on four lanes, and 12 gigabits per second on four lanes. HDMI 2.1 features dynamic HDR, which provides the ability for the video image to automatically adjust in HDR settings. The automatic adjustment differs depending on light and contrast of the image. For example, a dark video image with some highlights will automatically adjust differently than a bright video image with some low lights. And HDMI sync processes receive data to improve signal quality and smooth out motion. This processing increases the latency of the data transfer. HDMI 2.1 includes a few latency efficient features. The first of these being Auto Low Latency Mode, or ALLM, which allows the HDMI source to automatically enable or disable the HDMI sync low latency mode. Another latency efficient feature of HDMI 2.1 is the quick frame transport. This feature works with ALLM to keep latency low by prioritizing video frames, therefore delivering a more responsive video viewing experience for the end user. Be sure that any intermediary devices between HDMI source and HDMI sync are also compatible with this feature. In HDMI versions previous to HDMI 2.1, a screen would experience a short blackout period when switching between video contents with different refresh rates. Quick media switching eliminates the screen blackout period caused by the difference in refresh rate. Lastly, HDMI 2.1 features a variable refresh rate which varies how often a video refreshes each second. A fixed refresh rate can cause frame tearing, which is when the HDMI source and sync are not synchronized. Variable refresh rate allows the HDMI source to display an image at the moment of rendering and produces a more fluid video. Additionally, variable refresh rate 
reduces and eliminates lag, stutter, and frame tearing. To recap what we discussed, let's go over a short quiz. True or false? HDMI 2.1 has 30 gigabits per second more bandwidth than HDMI 2.0. True, HDMI 2.1 has a maximum bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second, whereas HDMI 2.0 has a maximum bandwidth of 18 gigabits per second. True or false, HDMI 2.1 only uses a fixed refresh rate. False. HDMI 2.1 improves upon previous HDMI versions by providing a variable refresh rate capability. True or false? HDMI 2.1 requires an end user to navigate to the SYNCS menu and manually set the optimal latency. False. HDMI 2.1's Auto Low Latency Mode feature allows the HDMI source to enable or disable the HDMI sync to set the optimal latency. True or false? HDMI 2.1 can send increased amounts of audio data to an audio receiver than previous HDMI versions. True. Due to increase in bandwidth, HDMI 2.1 can send increased amounts of audio data to an audio receiver than previous HDMI versions. It's true or false, HDMI 2.1 has a feature called Quick Media Switching to eliminate any blackout period when a user switches between video contents with differing refresh rates. True. The quick media switching feature of HDMI 2.1 eliminates any blackout period when a user switches between video contents with differing refresh rates. Be sure to visit our E2E support forums at ti.com forward slash E2E where we can help answer questions about designing with HDMI 2.1 interface technologies.